All right, we got the names fixed for you guys. All right, so it looks like we're getting off here. Got a stabilized start. It's a little bit of a blur on the screen. I can't really tell what his active is on the other side. It's kind of thunderous and Deoxys on the bench. It looks like his opening hand hasn't been too bad. And he goes for the dust goal. The wonderful bike for one. All right, so we got a Ultra Ball for the Lugia, and then a Skyla here. For a Juniper, ouch. These are always fantastic when you got a Skyla for another supporter. Dark Ride Dustnor, really interesting choice. Something with the uh, Frozen City there. Oh, the stage one evolve. And the end. I believe the winner of this game is going to end up making it into cut tonight. All right, it looks like he didn't pull anything bad off that end there. Alright, and a Junk Hunt for a Dark Patch and an Enhanced Hammer. And there's a Switch. And the Energy Search. I'm not sure how many basic Lightning he plays in this deck, but he's really going to ha hate this. Plasma's got a terrible matchup with being able to Junk Hunt for Laser, or for Hammer after Hammer after Hammer. There is tw uh, 20 damage on the Dark Rye from the manual attached last turn from Frozen City. There's a Colrus for six. And Ride and Knuckle for 40, and DC to Snorlax. Snorlax is fantastic against Dark Rock, especially when they don't have Garbodor because they cannot retreat. Leaving Dark Rock stuck there, not doing anything. And we got a manual attached, the 20 damage from Frozen City. And the Dark Claw as well. 
with a dark patch and juniper. It looked like two escape ropes and I didn't see the third card there. And the Dustnor is in play. Dustnor can be huge with, di with Dark Eye's sniping ability, considering most decks, uh, most Plasmalists really drop the mimes. That's 140 damage with um, possibly more if you're putting on lasers. All right, retreat. The bench is the Absol, two Absol. Absol could be really great against Plasma because they love to fill those bench with the Oxys. It did enhance the DCE off of Snorlax this turn, I believe. And that's 110 and 30 to Snorlax. Greg's looking like he has a really good setup, a really strong setup, and a really strong matchup, uh, matchup right here with the hammers and the the speed he came out the gate with. And there's an N. All right, the manual attached to plasma energy. And a right and knuckle with a DCE there. The Darkrai player has to do something here because of the damage that's on Darkrai right now. That Lugia can come out and smash for three prizes next turn. And there is an Ultra Ball. Manual attached to the Absol, which is great because of the, plasma, of the Frozen City in play. And another N. The Absols can also be really strong in this matchup, considering they only give off two prizes instead of three to Lugia. And we have another Enhanced Hammer, getting rid of that DCE. And he switches to the other Darkrai. A retreat there. And that one does have a Dark Claw as well, I believe. And we're moving all kinds of damage around. Looks like three, four, four, three across the bench with none on the active. Um, and there's one ten and thirty to the Lugi on the bench. I'm searching a discard pile. And this is, in this position, I'd be looking for the amount of uh, enhanced hammer in there, trying to figure out if it's safe to really pump those uh, special energy onto the bench. Or plasma ball. Searching for Genesect. Genesect could be great in this matchup, if being able to red signal up the Dustnor. All right, here we got an Ultra Ball. And with the amount of damage on board, if sending up the Snorlax to uh, to block the Dustnor active might not work as well as you want because uh, you just 
move that damage to knock out the active Snorlax. I think he did Ultra Ball for a second one there. And there's a right in Knuckle and the DCE back to Lugia. All right, we got another manual attached to, uh, to Absol there. Again, avoiding the frozen city. Yeah, maxing out the bench for Absol can be a mistake, but honestly, with uh, with Dustnor already throwing so much, manipulating the damage so much, it's the extra twenty really isn't as big of a deal right now. Let's see here. And we're going to take the retreat, the Absol. Absol is a plasma Pokemon. It does not take damage from Frozen City. All right, we'll have a switch there. Sending up the Snorlax to block the Absol. The scramble switch. Looks like he's burning some cards there, and the chorus for big old ten. It looks like. The amount of damage on that bench right there, it looks like 3, 5, 11, 3, 5. It looks around 200 in, uh, damage on the bench right now. Which is a lot considering the two prizes that he can move to those EXs. Moving some more damage around. All right, and the Genesect has been knocked out. All right, moving some more damage around, and there is looks like 30 left on the field, and Absol hits for 100. It doesn't seem like the Dark Rise uh, playing catchers either, which is usually a staple with uh, with Sableye being able to junk hunt for two. And I believe uh, there's a scoop here. All right. So game one for Greg Tice. But it seems like a pretty good amount of time for a game two. And in case you guys weren't listening earlier, there was a, a situation today where Ray Cipolletti and Justin Bakari are playing for the second time right now on day two. Uh, apparently you can play the same opponent two times in top 32.
All right, we're going to set up here in a mulligan. Alright, so we got a Dark Rive versus that Snorlax again start. And then the, the Deoxys. Frozen City, turn one, and end. Starting to, uh, the, Snor the Snorlax right now is actually really strong because Dark Rive cannot retreat to this uh, Sableye to Junk Hunt. Which going first gives an extra energy attachment, and then the opponent cannot attack. All right, we got a manual attachment there, a basic lightning, a chorus machine. It looks as if he's going to try and just go aggro Snorlax here. And the enhanced hammer. And there's a level ball right there for Sableye. All right, Dark Claw on to Dark Rye. Oh, on the escape rope. All right, there's a dust skull on the bench. And I believe that's a beach that knocked out the frozen city. And there's going to be a junk hunt. For enhanced and escape rope. And there's the frozen city to knock back the beach and juniper. All right, we have a bench center sex. A DCE to retreat there. Back to Snorlax. Which seems a bit odd, considering he knows that he uh, junk hunted for the uh, escape rope last turn. We have a Juniper. An Ultra Ball for Dusclops. This is twice he actually has been able to rare candy. I actually haven't seen a rare candy in his list either so far. And Beach. All right. Retreat to Sableye. And uh, Junk Hunt for Enhanced Hammer and another card. I didn't quite see it. And we're everything. I think for the past three turns, we've had a Stadium War here. There's the Frozen City. Manual attach and a red signal with Snorlax active, locking the dust skull, the dust clops in place. I'm sorry.
Um, I believe he just attached the second energy there. He did red signal that turn. There's an enhanced hammer. Bench Sableye, Dowsing Machine. Yeah, I believe he might have double attached there. He did. He did double attach. Hold on, just a second, guys. All right, so it looks as if we did have a, uh, a double attachment there. And I think Michael just ended up scooping. Yeah, it, it looks as if Michael Zele just scooped. It, it didn't look like a great matchup for him, especially streaming those enhanced hammers. Uh, the judge can't, we, we got the judge over there as soon as we could. I'm, yeah, Virginia Regions, Regionals has been a quite interesting event, that's for sure. All right, so you just conceded. The match goes to Greg Tice. And this has been uh, Robbie Gill hanging out with you guys. Have a good night.